Give me one second. I'm getting ready. I'm already ready. I'm just um, getting uh, my music. The Lord told me to put my music on, so I'm going to do that. Go ahead and uh, invite some folk, Ken. How you doing, man? I need to get at you about some stuff. Too. I need some equipment. I'm going to holler at you about, though. share this video invite Okay, so basically, uh, this is uh, exposure. I'm exposing and I'm prophesying judgment. And uh, I ain't come to play no games. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if y'all can. Can y'all hear me? Is the music too loud? Let me know if the music too loud.
okay, I'm exposing those who are playing with God. Those preachers who who uh who really not who don't have no discernment. You don't have no um Okay. The Lord tells me to let y'all know about the judgment. Uh, the judgment of God. Which is the title of this video. Uh, the judgment of God. It comes to chastise. True enough. It comes to bring damnation. If you look in uh, Romans chapter 13. Verse 4, 3, around the area, it talks about, I mean, it was, excuse me, the spiritual authority book by Watchman Nee is surfaced around Romans 13, 1 through 7. But the scripture that I'm getting at where it says, for those who resist the power shall receive to themselves judgment, or another word for it in the scripture, in some versions, it says damnation. Now, in, in, in the Hebrew concordance, it talks a lot about the, what, what, the original purpose for God's judgment, for damnation. To expose you if you are playing with God. That's the purpose of you being exposed. That's the purpose of you being, the purpose of bringing judgment is for you to be exposed. Because you would not expose yourself. You would not be transparent with God's people. How can the people know how, you, how real you are? How you real with God? If you don't be real with the people And you've heard me talk about You cannot be real with God You cannot be truthful with God But not be truthful with his people If you're being truthful with God But you're not being truthful with his people You're in trouble You're in trouble Curses upon you That's what I heard Curses upon you How, Why do you know if you're in trouble? Not how, but why? Uh, the surface is only skin deep. You feel me? Skin, right here. But what's in what's within the skin dwelleth no good thing. Now, do you understand that the more you decide? To want to talk to people and talk to God's people without giving them the truth, you set yourself up for failure. There are people on this, there are people on Facebook. Now, that's my chosen platform. So let's get that foolishness that a lot of y'all out there calling me. This ain't directed to everybody, but majority of the folk who know me on Facebook as the man who brings judgment. As the false prophet False prophets don't bring judgment I'm going to warn you Keep your mouth off of me if you ain't going to pray for me Because you're going to get yourself in some trouble I promise you 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 really don't know You really don't know What you're doing when you decide To put your mouth on a true man of God Now One second Okay, so basically, um, a true apostle, one thing you, you must know about him, he walks in authority, true authority, he breathes the judgment of God. 
bringing correction. Foolishness is not his portion. It angers him because it angers the one that's in him. God. You feel me? So, when a true apostle brings correction, when a true apostle brings correction, there's a shift that's finna come while I'm on this, this live right now. I'm in a different place, but I ain't trying to uplift myself because I'm more humble than I used to be. And I ain't trying to explain about my humility, none of that. I ain't trying to prove nothing to nobody no more. But what I'm telling you is, you preachers that's playing with God, <laughs> you get ready to fall dead in the pulpit. You think I'm playing, don't you? You think I just be talking, trying to be scaring somebody. Like, I'm just trying to, you know, oh, he, he love to talk about somebody dropping dead. Oh, he gonna drop dead. Oh, no. No. I don't play with people who play with God. I'm scared to play with God. And I've sometimes played with God. And I just don't like the end result. God is getting ready to bring judgment to you apostles and you false prophets. Who worship Baal That's what God just That's what the Lord just told me You worship Baal Worship of self The flesh A true apostle will never take you to the throne Of God It will bring you to themselves Self self. That's why all the other stuff start happening in your life and you wish you had never met him. You wish you weren't even a Christian no more. You wish you had never went to church. You only want to be known as a believer. Like Lecrae and all that dumb. Look. <laughs> Judgment is on you, Lecrae. Lecrae. The, the ex-gospel rapper. How do you be ex-gospel? Let me explain something to you. When, you. when you excommunicate yourself from the word, the gospel. The good news, the gospel. You set yourself up for downfall. I don't care how good you can articulate on a radio radio show. And I hope I hope somebody get this video to him. I don't care if he's a celebrity. I'm not no celebrity. I'm a man of God. A true authority. You feel me? Yeah, my hair messed up. And you don't see me wearing no 85-piece suit. And I don't have no 85 adjutants watching over me, standing outside my door while I'm making this video. You boogers has got them dudes. And, I'm a, I'm a, and look, while I'm speaking, do not... Do not take nothing I say lightly or figuratively. Or I'm just, you know, I'm speaking as if maybe that's what's going to happen one day. No. What I'm going to tell y'all is what's happening right now and what's getting ready to happen. So a lot of you apostles, a lot of you prophets got all these armor bearers, these adjutants. You sleeping with them and you think don't nobody know. You sleeping, you hauling around with the women in your church. You, you, you dogging your wife. You playing, you treating them like they don't understand nothing about love or nothing. You're making them forget the concept of what they was knowing, what they was reading, what they was studying before you came along. You took them astray. You led them astray. You leading God's sheep astray, away from God. You lead them away from God. So now, you're being exposed right now. That's a lot of you apostles, a lot of you fake homosexual preachers. A lot of you fake homosexual preachers. A lot of you so-called hypo, you know, so-called Miracle workers that ain't working no miracles. You walking in divination, lying signs and wonders, and the enemy using them. The enemy using you to set the people. Excuse me. The enemy using you to set them up for what's coming upon the face of the earth. The mark of the beast. Now a lot of y'all, you know, you ain't in the place where you need to be at. I'm just gonna keep it real. A lot of my Facebook friends, I study. I mean, I don't study like I should, but I spend more time in prayer than I do study. But I do, I do meditate to God's word. I do. I promise you that I do. And so the more it gets in me, the more I hear. But the more I study, the more revelation comes. You know what I'm saying? There's a difference. So some areas, you know, I decrease right now, Father, that you may increase in me. I am the out in Yeshua Hamashiach's powerful name. Okay, now the Lord want to speak.
Thus says the judgment of Yah who rules. I have warned you and I have warned you don't go any further today you must be judged Yea, yes, truth has come forth. But now is the hour of judgment. Says the throne of judgment. Thus says the Holy One. I am moving toward them who torn my church into shambles. Thus says the throne of Yah. Judgment is on you. Okay, Apostle Maldonado. Okay, the anointing for judgment is now upon me. So, I'm finna flow in the realm of judgment right now. So, I'ma warn you who watching. This anointing get ready to spread. If you ain't right, you know you playing with God, log off, okay? Okay, if you stay on, you stay on at your own risk. Okay, I hear the Lord saying, Apostle Maldonado, my anointing, I think he's from Miami, Florida, I ain't for sure, I've heard about him, but he said, my anointing for judgment is now upon you, and I'm releasing a true authority mantle for judgment upon you. And you shall prophesy the judgment of Yah unto them who are who provoke me to anger. Says the throne of judgment.
I am moved because you obeyed me. I am moving. Says Jehovah. He told me to let y'all know that his name is Jehovah. Not Jehovah, but Jehovah. I am moving, says the Lord. Now truth has come forth. Much exposure is about to happen. Okay, forgive me, Lord. I stand corrected. Much exposure is about to come. Now is the hour of exposure. Quick destruction. Quick destruction shall come upon you who stole from the throne. provoke me to anger for I am not pleased thus says the Lord of hosts I am who spoken. The just shall receive a breakthrough starting this week. Because they've walked by my word. Punishment has come to them who've denied my power. For I am moving. I am moving. Thus speaks the truth. Yehovah, Yahweh. The Lord has spoken. Okay, the Lord want me to let y'all know that his anointing is falling. His anointing is falling.
Okay. If you in right standards with God, then get what you need. Why this? Get what you need. While the anointing is falling, do what you must do. Says the throne. Praise me. Hallelujah. Shout. Worship. Whatever I have taught you, son and my daughter, work while it is day. For when man come, no man, when night come, when no man can work. And he said, I'm bringing, he said, tell them I'm bringing breakthroughs for my people. saying those who are in judgment that are connected to you are about to are about to be disconnected disconnected from you
Or are they gonna drop dead before your eyes? saying worship him that's what I hear right now the Lord said worship him wherever you at he said worship him right now the anointing is getting ready to get thick it's gonna fall wherever you at if I be a man of God like Elijah said watch the word of the Lord come to pass right where you are I'm gonna join you but I'm gonna do my own thing because most folk don't know who I am but how I worship is what you see so worship me. Thank you. 
to move by your worship. There's an anointing that's going to bring healing and restoration. Go back and soul to who I've spoken to you. There's enough worship on this broadcast to make an open heaven, says the throne, Lion of Judah. and watch me move and do the impossible. 
unto you and your situation. Move by my command. Only be led from who's spoken. The spirit of judgment is in position for those who won't obey. Be mindful. For I am operating through my servant, the rod of correction. And punishment can come through his anointing. Some of you took from him. took from him. But the throne is where you took from. I am the gift that is in him and the anointing. No one shall harm him. No one. Says Jehovah. There's an apostle on this broadcast that's going to drop dead. Apostle Spurlock has deceived women to believe that he's a true worshiper. But he's not. Apostle Spurlock, the Lord said he's warned you. There's no repentance coming from you. Because you don't perceive that I am angry. You think that this is all in your control. But you are mistaken, saith the Lord. I am judging you.
I am judging you. You don't believe that I'm moving towards you. But I am judging you. Your wife has been anointed. And she has the anointing. But you treacherously took her anointing for a joke. None shall be abusing my daughters. No one. Okay, Lord told me to let y'all know there's somebody speaking evil about me, towards me, and they get ready to fall dead. Why are they watching this broadcast? I hear the Lord saying, everybody's not your friend, son. He said, don't be deceived. Nothing is too abrupt when I speak. I am Yah. The throne has spoken. I am moving for you. I am moving for you if you be for me. But I am moving towards you
if you be against me. Be mindful of which side you are on. Have a moving day. I release a miracle on those who are in right standings with God right now. I release a miracle, a move of God right now. I release a miracle right now. Now I release judgment upon those who are in opposition against God and his people and his chosen one. There's a supernatural move that has come to you. Have a good day. God has just moved. Are you where you should be? Judgment or blessings, miracles, signs and wonders, the latter rain. Shalom.